Which I've hey, so I got one more message in me actually because the downloads be downloading. Okay, <laughs> I feel like this is a love message, but it don't have to be. Okay, but I feel like it is. It has something to do with love. So let's see what we have. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe. Love you guys. Sick. You could be recovering from some type of illness or sickness. Somebody could be going through remission. I'm also getting somebody um, wants to come back. This could have been someone, because I'm getting cancer. No offense to anyone who has cancer, but it's like somebody was like a virus or a cancer, like something like that. When you left this person alone, you start feeling better because this person was like affecting your health, okay? And I feel like this person wants to come back and like affect your health again. I don't know. Like, Yeah, this is somebody I used to live with. All right. Yeah, somebody I used to fight with. Somebody who used to bully you. Somebody who could have been mentally, emotionally, or physically abusive, okay? They're mad that they can't bully or abuse you anymore. Yeah, this person, I don't know. I'm also getting this person's like, you owe him, you owe them money. Or this is the type of person's like, I bought you this, I bought you that. So somebody's like trying to come in and make you feel guilty for all the things they bought you. Yeah, this is their plan to come back and say they, um, hey, you owe them or trying to make it seem like you owe them. If it's not money, it's like, I was there for you when you were sick or something. Like, some somebody's, like, trying to hold something over your head uh, to stay in your life. So, just be careful with this energy. Uh, don't fall for this. I feel like this person wants you to fall for it, okay? Yeah, somebody's trying to bribe you to take them back. If it's not romantic, it could be a friendship, but somebody wants to, like, bribe you to take them back. They could even be going around bragging about what they did to you, did to you or did for you. So this person is definitely, like, a asshole. <laughs> Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, a Biden citizen. You're an Biden citizen. Yeah, you're such a good person, like, Somebody's trying to, like, frame you. <laughs> like, what? Somebody's, like, trying to, I'll post your corn. Or I'll post the, the pictures you sent me. Be careful with someone. Okay? Because someone is, like, off the rockers. Volcano. They have anger issues. This could be a fire sign or somebody who is just not all the way there. <laughs> Maybe you're starting to realize this. You're like, something wrong with you. Or you need to know this. Wake up to your senses. Maybe, like, if there's something you you want to believe, you want to believe, like, this person is such a good person, but they're not. You know, they're really not. I feel like this person is going to try to come in very sweet. Like, yeah, you know, I miss you. And then as soon as you're like, yeah, but, you know, I don't want to date no more. I don't want to date you. Or it's, I forgive you, but I'm cool. What? What do you mean? <laughs> like, what? Chill. Like, yeah, quantum leap. Somebody does not want you to jump into your blessings, okay? I don't know what promise money. So somebody know that you are destined for greatness. You're destined to have a lot in life. And they were the ones who were trying to hide. You could have been sleeping with the enemy when it comes to this person. This person, they didn't want to see you grow as a person. Yeah, this person was stabbing you behind your back. Like stabbing your back because my back started itching. So, um... For some of you guys, this could have been a friend who was sleeping with your ex or somebody that you, you know, you were dating and they just wanted everything that you had. So they just like started trying to, you know, culture vulture, okay? Doesn't have to be a literal culture vulture, but someone who wanted to steal your culture, steal your DNA, your blessings, you know? Yeah, somebody need medication. You could be in a, a medical field here or you could have like, have to like come in and out of hospitals or something because somebody was like not good for you okay yeah you're definitely cutting ties with someone narcissist cutting ties with a narcissist who was gossiping about you they could have been pillow talking with someone that you knew could have been a cancer somebody you used to live with yeah healing you're healing they see you healing they could have seen you on vacation recently or they saw pictures of you enjoying your life and now these karmics are realizing you're doing better without them and they want to try to come back into your life to ruin it. 
and like, oh you doing good oh let me come back and have this like somebody's like trying to get you back into some form of sickness it doesn't have to be literal physically fit physical sickness some of my physical fitness so you could be getting fit somebody did not expect you to glow up because um you could have been down bad okay because of this person and this person is like trying to come back in to cause this again like they're up to the same old tricks here yeah you have new doors opening up for you you could be getting in a relationship with someone who don't want to put pressure on you somebody who want to take pressure off of you okay somebody was just gossiping about you today as you watching this reading this is why you need to know this because spirit is protecting you from people who was talking negative about you um they're throwing an evil eye at you uh yeah your left ear could be itching okay because somebody's like your right hand could be itching your family is jealous of you or you have family members jealous of you some of you guys this was your cousin sleeping with your person if it wasn't a cousin this was definitely somebody that you consider family somebody that was close to you was messing with your person all right and they be calling them up and they be like i miss that like like that's the energy i'm getting uh out of jealousy they didn't even want this person for real they only want them because you had them and then it's like they just want to they want to keep you stuck in chaos here so that you don't have vacation or you don't feel at peace all right you could be seeing a lot of black birds or something is over somebody could be a scorpio somebody was just toxic or by scorpio season you're getting your blessings and they can't stop it somebody's really trying to find a way to stop your blessings by always giving you headaches or making you sick again they're trying to make you sick again because you glowed up like what are you talking about yeah somebody's <laughs> Somebody's really trying to rush on in with a faulty plan. Somebody could have like a faulty leak. Somebody could have uh, a leak in her car. Somebody needs an oil change. All right. Somebody um. Somebody could be pregnant. Yeah. Car. Something about a car. The chariot. Somebody could be a cancer. Something about your family or people you consider loyal. I'm also getting judgments being called. Your hard work is paying off. Somebody's trying to stop you from working hard towards your goals. You could be seeing AAA a lot. You could be feeling really good. Music. Something about a festival. Somebody saw you somewhere. They didn't like this. They didn't like you smiling. Somebody could have a, like a goatee. All right. Somebody could be real skinny. You could you could have date like a real skinny man. Okay. Somebody could work at a warehouse. Somebody uh, travels for a living, um, like trucks. I'm also getting somebody see you traveling. They they're mad. Somebody could be a Pisces, or somebody has a um has hidden animosity. Somebody has some tricks up their sleeves to come towards you with some bullshit. Yeah, cause you're healed. Somebody could be a Sagittarius, or there's like somebody see your luck. Your luck has turned around. Because they're realizing they were bad luck. People from your past, they see your balance, you're at peace. They're trying to give you a headache. Six of Wands, they see you winning social media. Somebody sees it like everything is flowing to you. You eat like success is easy to you. The only reason why success was slowed down or you was having bad luck was because of these people. And these people are realizing that um you figured this out, okay? And they're mad or they're trying, what? What is this? I'm telling you, fighting, they're fighting for something. What is the, the cause conflict? They fighting over something that's meant for you? They're fighting on something that's not even for them. This is a group of people, y'all. This could be your family or a group of people you call family. This could be somebody you dated family. Like, all these people with bad attitudes are trying to, like, come on in. Because their plan all along was to get you sick. It's something about sickness. Or get you in some type of um, tragedy. Like they wanted tragedy to happen for you. But instead they see peace coming into your life. And this time around it cannot be stopped. Because you've been working very hard. And they're getting frustrated. Because it worked before maybe. Like when, when they came back with sweet talk you. It was easy. Because it was like you always forgave them. This time you didn't, you're didn't. you not forgiving them or something. And they're getting frustrated. And they're like forgive me. Because I want you sick. <laughs> like yeah. The high priestess. That's the plan. That's the 
secret plan. Somebody, something about an occult. Yeah, the King of Cups here. Somebody's a mastermind. It can be a woman. Don't have to be a man, but it's definitely somebody who's emotionally obsessed with you. Okay, emotionally manipulative. This is how they get their way. They like, I know how to talk to them. I know how to get them to, you know, butter them up. And in the past, this work where they was able to butter you up, they're not able to butter you up anymore. And pfft, Cause I'm hearing like butter, baby. It ain't like butter anymore. Things are happening for you because it's for you. This could even be someone who's like, you ain't gonna be nothing without me. You ain't gonna have no money without me. You blah, 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 blah. But when you removed yourself, actually things started getting good for you. And then it's like, you're looking at them and you're like, wait a minute, y'all was the problem. Nine months could have been significant. Okay, or within nine months, something. I don't know. Nine, I told you, nine months, nine years. Some of you guys, this was a nine-year curse. Wow. You could be seeing red cardinals or your ancestors not playing about you. Passed over loved ones are protecting you because I did get our angel Michael. This is why this can't happen no more. They can't put a lot of pressure on you. That's why you was getting headaches. This is why you was always sick. Something like that here. Yeah, they're blocked. That's what I mean. Cutting ties. These soul ties are officially over because you're not effing with them anymore. And they know this and they're trying to figure out a way to get back into your life. But they know. or I really feel like they're so far gone that they really think that they have a chance of coming back into your life. They're, they're going to be back into my life. I can come back into their life whenever I want to. Watch. Like somebody's yelling. Somebody's, somebody yells a lot. Somebody has a bad attitude. And I really feel like you found a piece into your life where you're like, I'm not about to deal with nobody with no bad attitude. And it's to the point where they're like, oh, they found peace in their life. Let me F it up. Like somebody's so determined to F up your peace. My left ear is ringing. <laughs> what, is the, what is the last message? Hopeful. Don't lose hope. The sun is coming up for you again. You could be a Leo. You get to laugh again. I'm not making this stuff up. You're about to laugh. The sun is coming out. Good news is on the way. You're about to see the horizon. Yeah, because you set boundaries. This is why you said, listen, if it don't bring if it don't bring me peace, then peace. And you did the right thing. You run away from anything that don't bring you peace. You ran away from these people. You you went the other way. And they're chasing you. And you're like, no, leave me alone. And spirit's blocking them. Spirit got a sign. The block, you know how you had the little blocking thing. You can't pass this road. You can't get on this road. You can't get on this journey with them. They're not getting on this journey with you. Yeah, you definitely burn bridges with people that miss you. But they miss you for all the wrong reasons. Because you're going on vacation. And they hate to see you happy without them. They want to prove that you were never happy. They want to prove that they were never the problem. Because that would feed their ego. And that is not true. You were never the problem. They were trying to make it seem like you were the problem. They got something to prove. But ain't nothing to prove because you ain't bothering these folks. They're bothering you. Continue to laugh. Continue to be happy. Continue to remain hopeful, grateful. Do what you're doing. It's working for you. That piece look good on you. For real. Love you guys.